Hello everybody and happy Wednesday. You can see I am in my bedroom. Do you notice anything different? That's right. It's not yellow anymore. Painters literally just left and our bedroom is complete and so is our bathroom. It's a little dark out but remember when it was blue? Well now it's this pretty wheat bread color from Bear. Our whole bedroom's done. It looks a thousand times better. So I'm gonna show you what they've gotten done so far. Brady's going crazy. Why are you running around like a mad woman? Where's Josie? Go get Josie. Go get Josie. Come on Brady. Get Josie. Josie looks dead. Get her. So let me take you down the hallway. So this room is all done. Aw, you being a little bedroom model. I'm like obsessed. So we we painted all the inside bedrooms the wheat bread bare color. Are you naked? Oh. <laughs> they painted this room too. Ha! <laughs> wheat bread as well. So this room's gonna be like my little office slash filming room. So I'm gonna decorate it kind of girly-ish. It'll look like more presentable when I film instead of just me walking around my bare house all the time. They're painting the hallway and <laughs> what? The dining room and the front entryway tomorrow. I remember this room. Oh, there's no light. Can't really see it because there's no light in here and it's getting dark out, but remember when it was really ugly yellow as well? Well, now it's a pretty color. Oh, it looks so much better. Now you won't see paint swabs all over the house and in my bedroom. I can't wait for the kitchen to be done. Get this yellow away as well. So my mom stopped by today and brought these advent Christmas calendars. She used to get me these like growing up, like when my grandma was still alive, we'd go to this German store in the mall, I think. And like I used to pick out my own advent calendar. It was the best thing ever, but now she's carrying it on as I'm getting older and I'm still in love with it. It starts December 1st and each day you open up the number and all the numbers are like misplaced all around and stuff. And you get a chocolate for the day and it goes all the way until Christmas day. Would you like to hear the exciting news? So I figured since I reached 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna vlog for 50 days. November 13th and I'm gonna go all through the rest of November and then all through December. What do you guys think? I don't know if I'm gonna post on Sunday and just start that Monday or maybe I will post Sunday still and then just start on Monday and keep going. I vlog for 50 days straight and I'm really curious to see if I can do it. I'm gonna put my mind to it because of you guys. You guys have helped me reach 50,000 subscribers and I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you guys. So I'm gonna do this for you guys. Right Brady? We're gonna do it for me vlogging for 50 days if I'm just gonna do like 50 random vlogs and just like go about my day. But I was thinking maybe I should do weekly. Like each week should be a theme. So like the first week I can do like sit down videos like Q and A's or makeup tutorial or like that. And then the second week can be like, I think that runs into Thanksgiving. So I can do like a Thanksgiving week and like cooking thing. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. If I should go by like weekly and maybe one week can be like about fashion and Mitchell buying my clothes and shopping through my closet. I don't know. You guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think, what I should do. Should I just do 50 random vlogs or should I do a week themed or I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Literally sitting in my bathroom right now because I thoroughly enjoy this color. Like it looks so good against the dark. It's almost five o'clock right now and I'm just waiting for Mitchell to come home from work. One of those weird girlfriends that's like, honey, when are you gonna be home from work? Dinner's made. Dinner's not really made though. We have Cassie and Josh, you know, that are living with us and Cassie's like a phenomenal cook and usually like whenever she's here and not working, she cooks dinner or cooks lunch for us or whatever. But when she's not here, then I gotta take over and I gotta figure out what to cook. But Cassie's like the type that's like, what's ever in the fridge, she'll just whip something up. Where I'm the type that's like, okay, I need to think about this. I need to think about 
what I need, like, I don't know. There can be just like chicken in the fridge and somehow she'll make some chicken dish. And I'm like, where'd you get these ingredients from? She's like, oh, they're in the fridge. I need a recipe or something. My point to this story or this talk is she's going to work tonight and I gotta figure out what to cook to dip. And I gotta figure out what to cook for dinner for me and Mitchell. And I have no idea what to cook. So I uh, just picked up this hottie. Oh. Oh. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I'm just kidding. So remember how I said I had to figure out what I was gonna cook for dinner? Well, I don't anymore because we going out to dinner. She got off the hook. I did. Uh, actually, Mitchell's aunt is in town, so we're gonna go meet her and his mom for dinner. And yeah. Three hours later. This is a face of a little baby angel. Hey, pretty girl. This is my child. The other day, I think it was yesterday, Mitchell was watching football, and we're all sitting out on the couch, and he like got mad at whatever football team was playing and he started like screaming at the TV and Brady got so scared like so scared so it makes me feel so bad for her because I don't know what happened to her before we like adopted her like what if she got abused it's so sad she went and like hid in our closet yes she was so scared and I made Mitchell go apologize to her look how snuggly she is you're just the snuggliest little beaner, but doing so good in our house. She hasn't made any accidents. I mean, like I said, the only thing she did, the only thing she did bad was chew on the remote. But like I said, that's replaceable. But you've been a very good girl so far. Figaro. Brady's like what? <laughs> She's so cute. I don't like when you try to blow near her face and then she just tries to. She doesn't to like when you blow in her face. I'm not blow in her face, she's going near her face and she like puts her paws right Wait, in my what are you face. Alright, guys. You're about to pass out. I think we're gonna go hit the hay and watch some Grey's Anatomy. I have to catch up. How many of you guys watch How to Get Away with Murder? That show is the best like i look forward to thursday nights because of how to get away with murder so not much happened today but i was just catching you guys up on the house and how good it looks painted how, how excited i just licked my tooth how excited are you guys that i'm gonna be vlogging for 50 days straight don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you think i should do like what what do you guys want to see that's what i want to know what do you guys want to see for 50 days do you want to just see like my everyday life? Do you want me to do themed by the week? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. Turn on your notifications so you can see when I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me today. I don't know, you might see me Sunday, but you will for sure see me Monday. Posting for 50 days straight, nonstop. Bye. Love you guys, bye. Say bye Brady. Rabbit face. You're such a swishy face. Look at this swishy face. I'm gonna scare Mitchell. Scare Cam! Scare Cam! <laughs> What'd you do to her? Why is she on the ground? She's falling over. Oh, Brady's. You're the cause of all this. No. Yes, you are. Why? Because you scared the shit out of me coming out of the garage. How many times I scare Mitchell in my life? Way too many. I'm gonna start getting it on video more often because he is the easiest person to scare.